Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Just me with my bag full of things I wish I didn't bring to Japan. Not really, it's just my gym bag, but I hope I deceived you all. My name's Allison. I'm a currently a grad student here in Tokyo, and I was an ALT on the JET program for two years. So this is about my third year living here in Japan. And when I first came over, I had three big suitcases full of hopes, dreams, and a ton of stuff I didn't need at all and would just throw away within the first six months of being here. Do not be like me. Learn from me. And if you hear banging in the background, it's because there's been construction happening for three months now. Joke's on me because the day after I recorded this, they finished construction. At the apartment next door. Tokyo life, baby. So before I begin, let me clarify that I was an ALT working in kindergartens, elementary schools, and junior high schools. If you work in a high school or you're a CIR, you're probably gonna want more businessy clothes. Also, I lived in the countryside, and countryside life, in terms of clothing, <laughs> is quite different than city life. Also, I am, let me say, I guess unconfident might be the right word. I'm the type of person who likes to assimilate as much as I can with blonde hair, at least. So, by this I mean I don't want to wear, like, American-style clothing or things that make me stand out even more than I already do. I do have friends that wear a lot of the things I'm gonna tell you not to bring. If you wanna wear it, if you think you're that type of person, good for you. I'm not. This is for my fellow slightly wanting to fit into the community and hide a bit queens and kings. Let's go. Also, I'm a girl, so undoubtedly some of these things are gonna be girls only, I'm sorry. Exhibit number one. What do we have here? A cute business business casual dress. Little cherries on it. Don't bring this. You don't need it. This is the only one I've kept because I think it's cute. But I'm gonna be real with you. You don't need to wear this type of thing. <laughs> At least in the countryside. They don't expect much of you. You could show up in an Adidas tracksuit every day. No one would care. You'd, be, you'd probably fit in more than I do actually. There are opportunities to wear this type of thing but I can count them on one hand in a given year. And I brought over like, probably like a week, at least a week's worth of business casual outfits. It's like five pairs of pants and five shirts. I didn't need that. If you're in high school, maybe yeah, but if you're dealing with, you know, 10 year old kids, you, d you don't need this. Next, short skirts and dresses. By short, I mean, this is my knee. This is the dress skirt thing. Anything sh shorter, that's a no. Now this one's probably gonna actually apply to high school too, and CIRs. Really, if it's above the knee, I wouldn't wear it. This is more of like a Japanese business thing. You hear like the Japanese girls wear short skirts all the time. This is true like in Tokyo, among like high school girls, I'd say. You can wear them in your free time if you're talking about like casual short skirts, but even then, like in the Inaka, I would stick out so much and I'd be so self-conscious. I could not do it. So I just, I wouldn't bring them. I wouldn't bring them. If you have the confidence or whatever to wear them, more power to you. I'm not that type of person. <laughs> do you see this? It's called a sleeve and you want it. You can't wear things without a sleeve to work at all. Any, any school, any grade, anything you need, the sleeve. You can bring it without a sleeve and wear it like with a cardigan. This goes for dresses of course too. Really anything that shows your little, what do you call this, like the little fat arm area. You don't want to wear it out probably. In summer you can in like the free time but I still wouldn't. In the city I think you could. You're not gonna... Uh... Next. This is a skirt. I brought way too many skirts and dresses. If you're teaching elementary school, like I did for four days of the week, you can't wear a skirt, you can't wear a dress because the kids are gonna climb up under you. I'm not kidding. So think of your school schedule. If you were in high school, then yeah, you can wear a skirt or a dress every single day of the week. Wish I could've. But if you're in elementary school, seriously, don't bother. 
bringing all of them over because they're just gonna sit in your closet. And again, make sure they go at or past the knee. Next, I don't have any to show you because I've thrown them all away. I'm talking about crop tops. <laughs> I guess they were a little bit more in style when I came over, but yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I really wouldn't bring them. I do have like one friend I can think of who's worn crop tops, but I just, I just can't guys. I think you're getting the picture. I just want to wear what Japanese people wear here. Especially in the Inaka, oh my god. And this is more because like you're like a teacher and you're supposed to like represent good values or something. I don't know. I wouldn't wear the crop top ever in my free time. Obviously not school. Just, just don't bring them. Next is too much denim. I love jeans. I love wearing them on the weekend. You can't wear them to school at all. No denim. So that's five days of the week gone right there. You only have two days on the weekend. You only really need two pairs of jeans is what I'm saying. I still have way too many. Like seriously, way too many. I really need to get rid of them, but I can't in my heart. I just can't. But honestly, most of them just sit there and never get worn. Maybe once a year. It's kind of bad. Next, anything with like a graphic like this or like a big brand marking, like a big one. You can't wear it at school. If it's like a little one, you know, like right here, then that's totally fine. But anything that takes up like the whole shirt like this or on the back, I wouldn't wear it because you can't wear it to school. It's really the theme here. Your wardrobe is gonna have to adapt to work. Of course, a few of these types of things are fine for the weekend. I just wanna bring too many of them because you, you can't wear them a lot. Just something to keep in mind. Don't waste your luggage space. And these types of things you could definitely buy here in Japan very easily. Keep that in mind for all of this, really. Next, a lot of purses. So you're probably just gonna have one work bag if you're not insane. And that bag for me was a backpack because it fit all the things I needed. At first I did bring like a larger purse, but I felt it was like A, too formal and B, it couldn't fit in like the drawer. So this is gonna be different just depending on where you work. But at all my schools, um, in our desk, we have um, like three drawers and the bottom most drawer is where most people would put their their bag. So a backpack, because like it folds and it bends really easily, that's really good for that type of drawer. But you know, a purse is a bit too rigid and it couldn't fit, at least mine couldn't, when I wanted to bring my textbooks. So I had to adapt and I just used the same backpack for two years. And I have all these cute purses and they would just sit. Yeah, there's the weekend, but I'd maybe only wear a purse like once a week in the end. And even then I find myself gravitating to like the same two or maybe three. I wouldn't bring more than three. Maybe bring, instead bring a backpack and a tote bag. And bags are something you can buy really easily in Japan. So it's not worth it, except for the purses because name brand purses here from Western brands are like insane. Next, gifts not individually packaged. So by this, I mean, some things are okay. Like, let's say like a rum cake. Yeah, I'm from Florida, I only know Florida examples, sorry. That type of thing is okay. But generally I'd stay away from them because in Japan, like all omiyage, like all gifts, they're individually packaged for each person, especially right now in this disease season. So I found myself just unwilling to give them out because I thought it didn't really fit the environment. On the same note, this goes for bringing things like little cheap individually packaged things. Yes, this, um, it's basically almost impossible to buy good souvenirs from abroad for Japan because here all the gifts are like really pretty individually packaged things. And you know, like in America, they just don't really sell this that much. But like I brought like, a bunch of M&M packets. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking because <laughs> they sell M&Ms here, first of all. So, <laughs> the, and they look like garbage. So, I didn't hand them out. <laughs> I just ate them all in my apartment. Next, I don't have them out right now because it's winter. Sandals. You can't wear them to school. Don't wear them to school <laughs> because you're gonna have to change into indoor shoes at school anyway. But don't bring too many sandals. Okay, I'm from Florida, so this might be a little biased, but I'd say just limit yourself to one pair, really, for summer. 
I mean, you can wear them in summer, it's totally fine. But you just, you know, again, the work theme. Do you really need more pairs than one? Maybe, maybe two. And finally, just too many, too many clothes. I came over, yeah, with three full suitcases. And the vast majority of this was clothing. And I would say now, almost three years later, I probably still have about maybe, maybe one seventh of the clothes. Yes, I'm serious. Now this is gonna be a bit of a different story if you're basically any bigger than me. I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> they do sell clothes for like, um, like larger, it's not really large because I'm not I don't think I'm large but you know just anyone bigger than me they do sell clothing but it's gonna be a lot harder to get your hands on it I guess I'm gonna go over what you should bring in the next video for what you should bring to Japan it's gonna go over a lot of that type of thing that you can't really get here or it's difficult to get here so yeah basically all the suitcases are just a waste of space because I ended up buying a whole new wardrobe from Uniqlo Japan life, baby. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. My name's Allison. Please like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe for more content like this in the future. There's a new video every single Tuesday, Japan Standard Time. I'll see you next week. Bye.